guest of an iconic leader, Nelson Mandela, which says, and I quote, education is the most powerful weapon that can be used to change the world. The Delta State Government recognizes this and with an unwavering commitment to changing the narrative, they are determined to build a stronger state with an informed manpower to drive its economy. On this episode of Smart Delta, we'll look at how Governor Ifan Yokoa has continued to advance the education sector in Delta State. With over 285,236 enrollments in 1,130 public primary schools, coupled with a whopping 274,151 enrollments in over 474 public secondary schools and with over eight tertiary institutions, Delta State occupies a prime position among the most educated states in Nigeria. Mass media help to disseminate. Mass media help to what? Disseminate. Their desire to secure a solid foundation for the future of the younger generation propelled Governor Ifanyokoa to channel positive energy and huge financial resources to solving the many challenges confronting the education sector in the state. Since the inception of his administration, many public primary and secondary schools across the state have witnessed massive interventions. Ami Day Secondary School Wari is one of the schools that recently benefited from this benevolence with the massive completion and rehabilitation of dilapidated structures. The school now wears a new look. With the provision of facilities such as well-equipped laboratories, library and furnished classrooms, the students say they now learn more conveniently. Before, my school was in a great delay. The academic performance was of us was so low because most of us weren't able to enter into the classes because of inavailability of classrooms. All we have to say is thank you to the state government for remembering us, for building this paradise here on earth for us. We were really happy about the construction of the school. It's really helped us because we were having a bad environment before for the construction. But now that they've constructed it, now we are very interested in it. Still moving with unwavering commitment, the administration recently established an additional six secondary schools and three primary schools with a view to expanding access to quality education. According to the economy fuses, we have got... One of these new schools with the state-of-the-art facilities is the newly constructed Igogbadu Secondary School Wari. The beautiful edifice was recently inaugurated by the Bayelsa State Governor, Doye Diri. The Governor of Delta State and the Government of Delta State, rather than building prisons, they are building schools. Your Excellency, your vision and the impact of what you are doing today, the foundation that you have laid in here will be resounding in several years and centuries to come. The school is an executive response to the plea of the people of Okere Robo Kingdom in Wari South local government area. The traditional ruler of the kingdom, His Royal Majesty Emmanuel Okumagba, Okumagba II, Oroswe of Okere Robo Kingdom, did not mince words in capturing the joy of his people. We are very proud of the governor's thought for us. As a people, we have always had just one secondary school in a cosmopolitan Okere Urubu kingdom. And so most of our children go out of our environment to attend secondary school. So with this today, we are richer for it. The opportunity for secondary education has been blocked closer to our people. I want to use this opportunity to thank our governor, Dr. Ifan Yokowa. Uh, he did a great job here. Everybody that is passing by is, you know, praising him. The school is very nice. Many students will come to this school. On behalf of my fellow students and myself, I want to say to Okowa, thank you and God bless you. 
we thank the government to give us schools so our children is no longer paying transport to far place. Government Model Primary School Asaba is yet another massive edifice, well furnished and equipped with basic facilities constructed by the government. It was also recently inaugurated by the former president of the Nigerian Senate, Abubakar Bukola Saraki. Let me commend you for this vision. If you look at the school, the quality, it's compared to anywhere in the world for a primary school. For the students, for the teachers, the only gift you can give is to continue to see that you maintain this beautiful infrastructure. Actually, when they transferred me here two weeks ago, I was saying, ah, I didn't even know there is a school like this here. Till the day I step in, I say, wow, I have never seen a building like this classroom and everything complete. I like my school and I like the way they used to teach us and I like the building. Thank you, Governor Okowa, for building us this beautiful school. Governor Okowa, thank you and do more for us. Biko, from the bottom of our heart, because if we do not appreciate, we will not come. Even though when my children enter here, they go, mommy, mommy, thank you, thank you, thank you. So they love the place, eh? We are so grateful. Testimonies abound at the Igubo Tiku Secondary School, Agbo. The school, which was formerly a primary school, but now upgraded to a secondary school with massive structures and facilities courtesy of the Okoa-led government, was recently inaugurated by the Zamfara State Governor, Belo Mohammed. Thank you very much. The construction of this secondary school clearly demonstrated the commitment of the Governor Okoa to according to our belief that we shall educate the children by seeing this standard of construction of secondary school I thought I'm commissioning a university not to know that it's a secondary school. This school was a primary school before but in my time it is now a secondary school. I thank God for Governor Okowa. Why give us good education may God uh, provide for him Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. We are so grateful because the population of the school is very high. We have uh, 24 classrooms. We have computer lab chemistry, biology, and physics laboratory. They are well equipped. Beside the infrastructural development, the urge to move with utmost speed on the Education Revival Highway has motivated Governor Ifanyokoa to invest enormously in capacity building in the teaching profession and to help ameliorate the challenge of low teacher quality. One major step taken towards achieving this is the establishment of the Teachers Professional Development Center. The essence of establishing this center was as a result of Educational Summit of 2016. And that was why our governor felt that this center should be created for training and retraining of teachers. While inaugurating the facility, Governor Okeze Ikbazo of Abia State commended Governor Ifanyokoa for investing hugely in educational development in Delta State. Governor Okoa has done so well. I am so thrilled that I am tempted to doff my cap for Governor Okoa. Well done, sir. I want to recommend that for those who are bothered about poor performance in school, children that are not doing well, unemployment, I recommend that you come to Delta State and learn how to solve the problems from first principles. It was indeed a day of celebration for Deltans and most especially for the people of Owoibu as this legacy project, the Teachers Professional Development Center, was being inaugurated. The atmosphere was filled with jubilation and the people expressed their gratitude to Governor Koa as they recount the huge impact it will have on the education of their children. By the establishment of this institute, Okoa has wiped out illiteracy. He has wiped out poverty. He has created foresight. God said, let there be light. And in fact, there was light. And this is the light. The governor, yeah, Senator Dr. Ifa Okoa, has taken the bull by the horn by Absolutely. setting up this teacher's professional educational center 
to upgrade our teachers, to engage them in qualitative and quantitative training that will improve their output. Teachers and principals who were also present at the event while speaking to the Smart Delta media team also poured out their hearts in appreciation to the government of Okoa. As direct beneficiaries of this institute, they highlighted the various ways they stand to be impacted and the ripple effects on the pupils and students as well. When I saw this project, when I came, in fact, I was perplexed. I was so happy. But many of us teachers want to upgrade ourselves. And we've been looking for places to upgrade ourselves. Somebody like me, I am going to this Agwashuku, uh, very far from me. Now, this place is very close to me. I'm so happy for this Apple project. May God bless Okawa for this. Yearly, we have teachers going for uh, composite trainings. And most cases, we travel all over the place. But now that it has been brought home to Delta State here and right in the Ikan Northeast here, we know that it will impact on the teachers' training. Prior to the establishment of the Teachers' Professional Development Center, the state government had always ensured that those in the teaching profession are engaged in regular training programs. A few of such programs were recently organized to provide series of curriculum leadership and implementation strategies that aid in the attainment of overall development of the academic performance of the students. This is training to acquaint uh, the managers of the educational system with the objectives of the curriculum and to work out with them methods of supporting the schools and the teachers in implementing it. With this knowledge, working together as a corporate body, it will then uh, help to reshape the school uh, curriculum and even the school activities. It will actually expose us to the new technologies, new innovations in the curriculum development that will help improving the educational system. Smart Delta. Uh, uh, my son, uh, I, I know uh, that you have been studying hard. Uh, I, I believe say you go day better. When, Papa? I thought they write and I they pass Jama pursue me four years now. No admission. <sighs> Papa David. So you never hear the good news? Uh, good news. Delta State Government won establish three new universities for Delta State. True, true. Oh yes, Delta State Government don't see and say many students they find them very difficult to gain admission into the university every year. And we don't say no good say people when one goes to go read, no they gain admission. Make them not go to involve for crying. Mm. Because the numbers of people where they day hopeless every year due to lack of admission for Delta State, they very high. So Delta State Government decide to upgrade the already existing theory tertiary institutions into university. So David, congratulations because people like you where they pass jam and pursue Emmy. This time you day show to gain admission for Delta State University. Wow! This is great! Governor Okoa is very determined to transform Delta State. Governor Okoa cares about the future of Delta State students. Smart Delta the efforts of the state government at standardizing basic education is also extended to the ivory towers. Even with the high number of tertiary institutions in the state, the Okoa-led government has not left anyone behind as it has ensured even allocation of resources. The administration has also initiated policies to make them function better as well as provision of both infrastructural and manpower developments across the various institutions. A trip to the state's College of Education, Wari, recently revealed the massive ongoing and newly completed projects embarked upon by the state government through a partnership with the private sector. An interview with Professor Mary Adema, provost of the college, further reveals more about this ongoing project and several other interventions. This is the first time you are having a hostel project in the over 40 years of this institution. And not having 
hostel facilities has adversely affected the college. In 2015 or 16, we had an investor who wanted to build a hostel, but the bureaucracies were so much and the person pulled out. If not for this stepping in of His Excellency, we would not have had that. And so we are really, really grateful to him. Speaking with Fidelia Iraqbata and administrative staff alongside some of our colleagues and their project manager, Clemens Aduze, who are equally happy with the ongoing building of the over 400 capacity hostel, all applauded the efforts of the state government towards the infrastructural and manpower development in the college, such as the newly built laboratory and his commitment towards the prompt payment of salaries. We are very happy with Governor Okowa in the area of um, staff welfare. We get our salaries every month. He has never owed us. We are very happy about that. And there's a lot of training that has been encouraged too. So many of us have been trained on how to use the computer and some basic packages. This hostel building is a 120 room hostel accommodation that will take 480 bed spaces. It's a lot of a project. Most times we lack students because of hostel facility. They prefer to go to where they have hostels. But with this project, now when they know that we have hostels here, oh, they will come calling. Through steadfastness and a multi-dimensional approach, Governor Ifanyokoa is running with the vision of creating a globally competitive model learning centers in the state he has so far given education a new momentum and to further bridge the gap in the educational needs of the state and to also eliminate wasteful expenditure as well as expand admission spaces for Deltans seeking university education. He recently announced the upgrade of three existing tertiary institutions including the State Polytechnic Ozoro, College of Education Abo, and Delta State University Anwai campus Asaba into full-fledged autonomous universities in addition to the already existing ones. It's become obvious to us that we need to be able to take certain actions to conservate higher education as it affects our people and our state. And we are very mindful of the fact that we need to be able to open up the space for those who truly want to acquire knowledge not to be limited because of the fact that the vacancies are few. It is desire of all parents to give their children quality education. And this is a very brilliant idea for having these three universities being ascended to today. These newly established universities were recently approved by the National Universities Commission, NUC, when the governor led top state government officials to present strategic documents of the universities to the commission's headquarters in Abuja. The development has made Delta the state with the highest number of public universities in the country. On behalf of the National Universities Commission, it is my honor and privilege to first present to you the recognition letter for the University of Delta, Agbo, Delta State of Nigeria. Congratulations. These three universities so recognized today are not just brand new institutions, they are an upgrade of already existing institutions because we understand what it is and what it takes to start a brand new university as separate from what it is to upgrade an institution. This huge step taken by Governor Ifanyokoa is premised on the fact that he had since inception into office already set these upgraded institutions on a level of high academic excellence and made them competent enough to be considered for an upgrade through enormous interventions ranging from infrastructural upgrade, enhancement of curricula, capacity building amongst others. A trip to these newly upgraded institutions recently reveals the level of already existing relevant infrastructures and other developments which have facilitated the upgrade. A 
at the State Polytechnic Ozoro, now Delta State University of Science and Technology Ozoro, we met a number of facilities on ground which prove that the school is more than capable to metamorphose into a university. The Deputy Rector, Engineer Dr. Okeogene Eboibi, while conducting us round some of the facilities in the school, we were able to interact with some members of staff heading some of the departments. Dr. Calvin Igberi, Head, Department of Business Administration, and his colleagues all rated highly the contributions of the Okawa government that has brought about improved staff welfare and landmark projects such as the improved ICT center and many others in the school. There have been a massive infrastructure development. He has invested much on laboratory equipment and workshop equipment. Recently, we have the state of the art library the school actually has enough equipment to actually be upgraded to the university lecturers staff indeed have not had it so good under this administration our salaries have been properly paid as at WNG. government has also made efforts to ensure that staff are properly motivated in terms of providing healthcare facilities for them students are excited about the upgrade of their school into a university and are grateful to the state government for making available the needed facilities for improved learning system. We've been expecting such an opportunity and I want to say thank you to Senator Dr. Infai Ato Okoa for this great privilege he has given not only to Delta State alone, but to the community and its environs. It's already using a university standard even before it became a university. It being a university is one of the best choice that the state government have ever made. The same story resonates at the State College of Education, Abo, now to be known as the University of Delta, Abo. The provost of the college, Dr. Joseph Ukadike, just like his counterparts at the Ozora Polytechnic, had nothing short of praises for the Okoma-led government. In the area of uh, infrastructures, we have a lot of big buildings that we accommodate faculties. We have manpower development and all these things wouldn't have been possible without the contribution of the state government. The story is not different at the Anwai campus of the Delta State University, Abraka, which is now to stand on its own as the Dennis Osadebe University, Asaba. The school, which was prior to now an annex housing the Faculty of Agricultural Management Faculty, has been found worthy to be an autonomous university. The land mass is sufficient for a full-fledged university. The facilities are there. The potential for agriculture is there. The potential for management science is there. Upgrading institutions to full-fledged universities. That's the pointer to all this interest in education. The governor called desire for the smooth and quick takeoff of these new universities has prepared him to kickstart inspections of available facilities which will aid the eventual takeoff of these universities. All three universities are starting, University of Delta and University of Science and Technology, although they obviously they are fully ready for the initial takeoff, we don't have any hiccups. The Dennis Osadebe University at Amway definitely will be able to start off in some of the faculties, but not all the faculties. But right there, you can see that facilities are already coming up. Smart Delta. Beside the inspections, he has gone ahead to inaugurate a high-powered project implementation committee, all with a view to ensuring that those schools are able to take off in the 2021-2022 academic session. Your Excellency, we wish to sincerely thank you for picking us from among the crowd in Delta State. 
present. You have established three universities that we offer medicine, architecture, and those other rare courses in Delta State. We promise not to fail you. We'll do our best. With a huge investment in education by the Delta State Government led by Dr. Ifanyo Kowa, there is no doubt the government has an eye for the future and building of a stronger Delta. As there is no country that can secure the future without laying a solid foundation for tomorrow through education. The feedback segment. Question of the day. My question to the state government is that the free education that people are enjoying in Delta State I want to really know if it's only for primary schools or is extended to senior secondary school as well. Miss Peace Chico's here. Yes, education is free for primary and secondary schools in Delta State. Primary and secondary schools are mean primary one to six, GSS one to three, and SS one to three. There's also some compulsory statutory fees that is approved by government, which is basically for sports and PTA levels. It's important to get informed about what is going on in this state. If you're going to pass suggestions to us as government, your suggestions will be welcome. To know more about the Smart Delta team, follow Smart Delta on their various links. Text your questions to 0812119213 or send with a hashtag access to all our social media platforms. Better run, run, come, come to Delta State. Come and see the good things where Okowa is, they do it better. Run, come, come to Delta State. Come and see the good things where Okowa is, they do I see your job and wealth creation in Delta. Make the youth say them higher. Okowa. I see good roads everywhere in Delta. Make the people say them cola. Come live in Delta. Say me, I say. Come invest in Delta. Come explore the potentials of 